So this is Dinozo's autumn vlog. And he's learning to be brought back into work. We're doing some lunging work and just introducing side reins to the bridle. Just to get him used to the contact again, he was turned away for the summer after having wolf teeth removed and his teeth done and a bit of time to grow. He's an enormous horse for someone like me. And um, yeah, we're just giving him some time to get really confident in the contact. Come on, you. I'm going to show you how I put them onto the girth to stop them from sliding down because I never like them too low onto the horse's mouth. I'm going to go under all of the straps, above all the girth guards. And then if you thread one back under a, girl, a strap and out, just helps secure them from sliding down. You can't do any lower than the girth buckle that way. I have my whip, my lunge whip, all 12, ready, nice and safely. Very BHS. Will you concentrate, pony? Look. Ideally, I'm going to send a nose away from me into a nice calm walk on the lunge. He's a little bit lit up to start with, however and is calling out to his friend that he can hear calling to him in the field. I'm going to just ignore this and stay calm and just settle him down because I don't want him charging around on the lunge. And he did settle nicely. Didn't take too long actually. Do I bring him to a halt to change the rein? I always reel my lunge rein back in ready to send him back out on the new rein and I tuck my whip safely yeah. under my arm. I'm really pleased with him there that he settled and started to stretch down to the floor and look a little bit more relaxed. Sending him out on the right rein now, aiming to keep our lunge line high off the ground so there's no danger he'll ever tread on it. And as you see, we raise the whip to ask him to trot. If he stretches down, that's fine. If he came behind the vertical and curled in with his head between his knees, I would just encourage him to open the frame again. I don't mind him going low. 
When that is nice and settled, we're going to put the side reins on. And you'll notice again, the whip safely under my armpit and behind me. Back onto the left rein. And this time we put the side reins on. He prefers the left rein. So having introduced something new, we always start back on his preferred rein. And as you can see there, we lower the whip when we want to walk. Lots of changes of rein. I always do loads of transitions. I don't spend too long on the lunge, only ever about 20 minutes in total anyway. And on this rein particularly, Donoso does like to start to canter to evade using himself more in the trot. He can tend to drop quite low in the pole and come behind the contact a little bit. So my aim is to always be sending him out forward use himself and work into the contact. If he does bear down too low, you can just apply a gentle, you see my hand raising there, a gentle tug on the front of the caverson and asking him to just raise the head a little bit. And then you support that with the whip and ask the horse to move from behind. A nice calm walk transition and back up into the trot. As I say, lots of transitions, really good for the horse. You can see with the nose, though, I aim to keep it quite calm. He would be capable of some quite flashy, powerful paces. But I don't feel the need to do that. My aim is to just quietly let him go around getting used to the feel of the side range to the bit and developing a trust in that contact. And keep that lunge line up. He's been so good, bless him. He's really accepting the bit well today. I'm really happy with him so far. We're just going back on to his, oh, what was that? We're going on your right rein now. He doesn't like the right rein as much. And I'm going to shorten up the inside side rein one hole just to encourage him to bend a little bit more to the right. Good so you heard me say there I've shortened up the right side rein one hole, you can get one or two holes or you could lengthen the outside side rein but as my side reins were not particularly tight in the first place I've gone with shortening the inside. When the horse is even and straight obviously you would have the side reins an even length both ways. So it's really good there. I'm trying to stop him from bearing down behind the bit all the time and just to learn to raise his pole and work a bit more from behind without breaking to the canter. I'm going to have a go going large in the dressage arena now. Because you're not going to jump over all of the whiteboards, are you? And um, we're going to just see if we can finish up with him really using himself nicely and accepting that contact. He's doing really well. Good boy. So I've taken him up into the big school now, into the dressage arena, to give him lots more space. This way I can be more mobile as well. I can send him large around the arena rather than just staying on a tight circle. I can perhaps send him up alongside, ask him to take a few lengths and strides and really get him used to seeing the outside of the arena or the hedges and the boards so that when I come to ride him, he's seen it all before. And at the end, we've unclipped the side reins and are letting him have a stretch. You've got to be really careful as he drops his head down low like that to keep the line off the floor. Don't spend any time in walk with the side reins on because inevitably they'll be too short for the horse until he's up into his trot work. So if you're going to be doing walk, take the side reins off. Hasn't he been good today? I'm really happy with him. He's been nice and settled and trying really hard. Obviously, it will take time for him to strengthen up and be able to work from behind. And he's desperate to stretch that mucal ligament out at the end there. So, really good work. And I'm really happy that he's quite quiet now. So, I'm going to have a little lie over him on the mounting block.
turn them back on. I always have everything ready for Dinozo before I start and at the end, because as you can see, he doesn't like it when I leave him. In time, he's going to have to learn to tolerate it. But right now, I just want to keep him relaxed. And they are hard animals after all. He is in the barn on his own at the moment. There's no other horses around, so I think he's doing pretty well. Are you coping? So as I move him over in the stable, I'm using my hand where my leg would go. And that's every opportunity that you ask him to move over like that is an opportunity to teach him to move away from your leg later on. If I leave it that length, the weight of it will help to keep it down. Plus when I water it over, and bounding it over keeps it on this side. It didn't take very long, so I think I will stick with it. Let me know what you would do. Hog it. Don't say that. Alright, let's put him back out in the field. So that's where my overreach boots went, he says. There's your culprit. Hi Dante! Hiya! And Diaz as well joining in. They're all saying hi. It's the secret overreach boots thief. Do I dare let you two speak? No front legs flying, please. Ah. Brothers. Ah, ah, ah. Be nice. Good boys. Oh. Are you going to bite? Don't bite him. And he's going to run off, he's going to gallop off like a lula and get as far away from me as possible, aren't you, Dinozo? Of course he says. And his sister Diaz over there needs us strapping up. That's why it's important that we check on them at least twice a day. And we can do our strap up for her. Diaz! You tired, girl? Hey? Did you miss your brother? Oh, don't get a zap, will you? Good girl. What are you doing? Oh, you just want to lick. Diaz, are you really that tired? You've done nothing but eat all day. 